Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lloyd and welcome back to Super Hostile Inferno Mines. In the last episode, we grabbed that. Um, there was a Zisto spawner, Zistikin spawner, uh, right in this area that was spawning, well, zombie pigments with leather pants and signs. Um, that was kind of a challenge to get the next wool. Um, I don't remember what color it was, to be honest. Uh, but that is safely back at the base in uh, the ender chest, and it is time for us to continue moving on. So, of course, we are at the top of the outer darkness, way up top. Um, it's a long ways down, so I don't want to get knocked off, but uh, the path to the next area is in this area. <laughs> it's, um, which direction was it? That's a cave. That is literally nothing. I hear a zombie. Okay, there's one over there. Don't care about him. Um. Oh, it's literally back the way of our little area. So, um, yeah, this leads to the next area. And we didn't go this way last time because I didn't want to. Um, because as you can see, there is a bunch of spawners. And we're going to just do something like that. There is a lot of stuff down there. And I kind of don't trust this at all. Um, so let's get ender pearls. Do ender pearls are, uh, let's go with ender pearls over the golden apples. I just want to kind of make sure that there's nothing else. Looks like mostly zombies. Um, what is that? There's an indent there. I do not like that. Indents are not good. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is a trap. <laughs> uh, and I'm pretty sure I know what kind of trap it is. Uh, so you can kind of see right here, there's an indent. Indents are not good. Indents indicate piston shenanigans. And there's a bunch of zombie spawners. Now, zo Zombies are not dangerous. Um, not at all. Not really. So, why put a bunch of zombie spawners after a wool if it's not just there for a distraction? So, we're going to come down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a. Okay, this is a proximity detector. Um, we're going to set up here for a moment. Uh, okay, I can, I know what this is. I've seen the stuff. Uh, for the for the record, and I, I say this quite often. Um, a, I've seen this map before. Um, it's been quite a few years since I watched uh, I watched Zisto actually play through this map as a beta tester. Um, there are some major changes to this map uh, from the version he played compared to the version I'm currently playing. But at the same time, um, I get the general gist of the the map. Uh, and kind of what to expect coming like going forward. I also am a big fan of Vex and watched a lot of his um, test world stuff. Um, if you're not familiar with Vex, he's the map maker. Uh, he made a bunch of videos that's like his uh, test world testing different contraptions and whatnot and showing them off and how they work. Uh, this is a player detector. This is an old player detector. It uses a cave spider spawner. Um, basically surrounded by pressure plates and that activates the piston and the dispenser shooting potions at us um the the close when we get close the cave spiders can spawn um they then walk on the pressure plates and shoot potions at us basically um that's the trap here the the zombies are a distraction the actual trap is the potion uh give you slowness weakness poison uh, poison damage that kind of stuff and kill you that way. Now, the obvious solution is we're just gonna place a block in front of that indent, um, but uh, we I kinda wanna see what potions are there if I want any of them, because they're gonna be full stack potions, probably. And I, I'm, I'm literally just waiting the seven seconds for the slowness to, to die off, um, but everything else is just a distraction. Um, 
We don't want to break into that little contraption, though, because I don't want to deal with the cave spiders. So... Luckily, nothing spawned. We'll get away. Walk away. And... And this time, we're going to do that. Oh, you can hear. Okay, there's a, there's a minecart there as well. Uh, I remember that. Okay, so there, the other part of the contraption, we can get our golden apple back on the bar. Uh, the other part of the contraption is that once the cave spider spawns, they, they hit the pressure plate, but then they get uh, caught into a minecart. Um, the, the whole reason for that is so that you don't have... Um, let's make sure there's no other spawners here. Okay. Uh, the reason for that is so you, that you don't have um, it constantly activating. So basically we could spawn the spider, step back where we're out of range, and just let it run out. Um, but now we should be able to come down here and get more. And it's going to shoot more potions, but that's okay. We don't really care. Um, so let's just get rid of all these. And... Eh, get away. Uh, it might actually be out of potions at this point. So we're gonna just put that there. And like I said, I do want to watch out for... Nope, it's it's completely full. We're just gonna block that up. Um, but yeah, like I said, there are cave spiders. Uh, Vex uses those because they are small, and they track the player through the the walls, or at least they used to. I don't know if they still do, but um, yeah, we're gonna want to make sure that's nice and light. Um, brightly lit. Sharpness too. I'll take the iron pants. Sure, I'll take the arrows, I guess. Anything here? Yes. Food. I will take all the food. Always food. Uh, sharpness on breaking. Alright. Uh, if we want that stuff, we'll come back for it. Alright, so let's continue on. You can hear them uh, chasing after us, but I think, no, there is a bit of a hole here, um, and this looks like a, okay, this is interesting, we have a rail line. Now, always walk rail lines, never, ever, ever, ever ride them first time. Um, always walk them if you can. But this is probably silverfish. No, that's actual stone. Interesting. Um, so we're going to just come down this way. And I have a feeling... Is that a chunk? Oh, no. Railway kit. Oh man, don't make me do this. Um, it looks like he's put lava around this. So this is probably a shortcut back to... Yeah, we have sandstone, we have rails. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, but that's probably a shortcut back to um, the first intersection. So that means that we need to go the other way. Um, we might go back that way. Uh, I know, again, that there is a lot of traps in the middle of these like caverns, uh, mostly to stop you from bridging across um, back and forth type of stuff. But uh, it's not anything like awful. Uh, if you stay away from that. Um, I will probably bridge across there later, but right now, um, 
let's just kind of continue forward. And this is probably just going to be natural spawns, if I had to guess. Uh, I do want to make sure that we have a path back upwards. And let's kill the Enderman. Give me your Ender Pearls. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. I vaguely remember this area. There's a glass bridge. There's a couple creepers. Uh, I don't know if there's creeper spawners or anything. I think that might just be natural spawns. But we're about to get into some areas that are not the most fun. Um, yeah, I don't like this. Just a simple lava pool. We're going to rush. There's a zombie. I think it's perfectly safe, but I still don't like it. And hey, looky here. A Saurian sign-off shelter, plus some stone tools and food. Um, that That is a bunch of bread. And basically, a, a base we can use. Uh, a backwards furnace for some reason. Okay. Um, I know in the past Vex has trapped furnaces. Oh, that's stale bread. Um, stone tools is actually really nice because that means uh, free picks and golden apple. I don't really need to carry this many golden apples on me. So we're going to just dump off some stuff here. And yeah, we have our inner chest full of wool. And we can come out here to the next intersection. Uh, let's run out to the middle. And I heard, okay, they're below. Um, so we have the outer darkness. I'm gonna shore up these corners. I, I'm always scared of the corners. Outer darkness is where we came from. The mellow cavern is actually a pretty nice place other than something behind it. Um, Lush Ruins is how we get to the next area. Uh, and then we have Haynes Disgrace, which is um, actually a pretty good area as well. Uh, so before we do anything else, there is a quartz slab with a bunch of quartz slabs in it and some unbreaking and fortune books. Not bad. Uh, not really anything I care about. Uh, there used to be some other stuff with it, but um, that stuff got moved, I do believe. There is a chest right down there. If we wanted to go down there. Um, but I don't know that I do. Honestly, part of me just doesn't care. So let's... Let's see. Which is the area I'm going to want to go to first? Let's go to the Mellow Cavern. And this is slabs, we can't place anything on here. But, oh my gosh, there's a sand pillar. Um, I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. But, um... clearly have to I clearly have to do this oh come on I'm gonna stand back a little bit farther okay nothing um I actually don't know what that is I think that's a reference to somebody but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna fill in that with with a uh, block, just just to be careful. Careful. Um, yeah, I think this is a reference to like Zisto or somebody who pillared up. 
Um, with sand? This is super dangerous. I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. Don't do that. Don't do that. Bad ideas. All right, so we're just gonna come up here. So, Mellow Cavern. Um, I believe it loops around and all that kind of fun stuff. And then at a certain point, it's gonna drop down a couple zombies. Come on. Come on up. And yeah, so um, we're not going to take on any of these areas. We're just going to kind of start looking at them. Um, and I need to do other things first. Oh. Oh, now I'm sad. You break that, the sand falls. And then you can get to the actual cavern. Oh, I'm sad now. Uh, anyways, real quick. Mellow Cavern. Big area down there. And there's a ladder supply kit. Because you'll need them. But let's... Uh, let's do this. Oh my gosh. And there goes the sand. Of course, it's not enough. Because <laughs> I got rid of too much of it. Oh, man. So that's... That is why that's there. Uh, and if you mess it up, that's... Kind of a bummer. Um, so... Yeah, what we can do... We get over here. Uh, we'll do this for now. Hello, Mr. Creeper. And then I can just place this here. Uh, and it will stack back up. No problem. So I, sh I shouldn't have messed with the sand. I didn't, I didn't think. Uh, I, I knew about this area, but yeah, I didn't think about that. And then we can always just break this. And now we have a nice convenient way to get down there. And there is a ton of mushroom in a hole down there. Um, good to know. So let's get rid of that. And keep some of the sand. And uh, yeah, so this is a big, big place. I know where the wool is. Um, it's actually not a bad place. It's just kind of a pain to get down to. Uh, and the wool is kind of hidden. Um, there's not that many mobs, I don't believe. Or anything like that. So... Um, all in all, this is an easier wool, but uh, there is something darker down there, um, which we'll get to later. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do it the first time we go through there. I believe it's down there anyways. There's a couple areas that are hidden, and uh, I do know about them. I know vaguely where they're at, um, at least the areas they're at. Um, so just kind of something to keep in mind. So what's the next area we're going to go look at? Uh, the rush, uh, wow, the rush ruins, uh, the lush ruins are not going to be fun, um, but that is the continuation, uh, so let's go to Hain's Disgrace and see if this actually has, uh, has an area we can get to without too much issue. Uh, I want to be super careful, but I don't think there's any traps here. Um, dedicated Joe Hills and his legendary redstone skills. Uh, there is obviously a bunch of mobs, but this is Hain's Disgrace. So, uh, if you're not familiar uh, with the lore of the Super Hostile series, uh, one of the big things is there is a... Oh, by the way, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, there is a new... Um, there is a new map that is out, coming out soon. But this is Hain's Disgrace. And um, it's supposed to be this gigantic quarrying machine. Uh, and then it kind of broke into some, some spiders, it looks like. Um, but yeah, if you're not familiar, um, 
I just realized he was on Legendary too. Haha. <laughs> Ahem. Um. Yeah. Jeff's notes. Jeff's hills. Jeff Hillia. Um. Which is Joe Hills. Jeff Hillia. You get the joke. Um. As we pack up the last of our diamonds and prepare to ban the mining site, I cannot help but to reflect on how wasteful our operation was. The good kingdom of Marbrosia sure erred in trusting Hain to carry out this mining expedition. So, um, we'll get to that later. Once we enter this area for real. Um, but for those of you that don't know, and this is something that was talked about more in um, Isolation, uh, which was another super hostile map I played. I don't know that Hain Company ever came up before then. Um, but basically, Hang Company is a mining expedition company. Uh, they go around doing mining operations for different places in different places uh, and usually are not well received. Uh, they're, they're a pretty bad corporation. Um, they were here. Um, a lot of the lore of this area and a lot of what's going on in this area is because of the Hang Corporation. So. Uh, so, you know, uh, that is lore and all that fun stuff, but let's get this cooking just so we can save a little bit of inventory space. Uh, so yeah, they came here looking for a lot of iron. Uh, so there's not much iron in Haynes Disgrace, but there is a lot of coal um, and spiders, uh, including some nasty spiders, I do believe. And then we have the Lush Ruins. Now I want to make sure that there's nothing above us. I don't think there is. So the Lush Ruins. Um, basic equipment. So you can get basic equipment anytime you want just by clicking that. Uh, and it is actual. It is real. Uh, I think it gives you wooden tools and stuff. Not entirely sure. Yeah, wooden tools and a minecart. So, uh, the Lush Ruins, and this is all Silverfish, by the way. Um, Lush Ruins is not the nicest of places. We're going to just walk down this way and go look at it. But this is a gigantic area. It's going to take a couple episodes to get through just the, the Lush Ruins. Uh, and... It's it's gonna be interesting. So um, Vex changed how he made maps a little bit uh, after Lethemir. Um, Lethemir was a big experiment. Arguably, it failed. Uh, he does. Uh, Vex has made a couple maps that did not do well. Um, failed for various reasons. Uh, that were kind of all in all big experiments. So that is something. We're going to look at that in a moment. But um, yeah, that goes down there. And then down at the platform uh, is the beginning of the Lush Ruins. I'm going to wait before we go that way. Um, what is this way? Um, so yeah, there, there, there has been some... I don't like this. Oh, it's it's another bridging point. Uh, railway kit. And, oh, right here is one of the skylights. So that is a shortcut to the skylights. Um, we're going to put that back. Railway kit looks exactly like they all do. Um, okay. So... Uh, we're going to go back to the, the earlier base and kind of end the episode off, but uh, we're, we'll keep talking about this. So Vex started, um, so one of the experiments that failed, let's see, there, there's four that come to mind um, for me. Uh, some of the early maps, one of the early maps was Canopy Carnage. Not necessarily a failed experiment, but a failed map just because um, Minecraft is awful uh, and can't handle a lot of trees, um, especially leaves. Leaf blocks are awful, especially in earlier versions of Minecraft. Um, so that was kind of a failed map. Uh, I don't know if he's ever going to go back to it. I think he could. Um, I don't know that he will. 
just because it is definitely something you can do a little bit better now because uh, Minecraft is a little bit more stable in current versions. Plus there's a lot more variety with leaves so you can do cooler things. Um, another map that was kind of a failure was, um, there's still a dark spot there. Um, what was it called? I don't remember what it was called. It was the aquatic map. Uh, and the reason that failed is because, well, early Minecraft didn't really have much, um, water, water content. So it was kind of boring. Um, which again, not really anything Vex is, like, not Vex's fault at all. Just the idea couldn't do anything because, well, there was nothing to do. Um, just because of how Minecraft is. Let's make another chest. Uh, so, those two were not awful, but uh, weren't really experiments or anything, just kind of didn't work uh, for various reasons. And so, uh, fast forward, and one of the experiments, there is just more lava down there. Uh, one of the experiments that Vex did that I was not a big fan of, and I don't think it was super great, but um, did influence later maps, was Lethemir. Uh, now, Lethemir was, for the most part, completely randomly generated. Uh, in fact, he made like uh, five or six different versions of the map. Um, the problem with it was is the the full randomly generated really made difficulty spiking uh, well random the, there was no there was no ease to you know the first area is gonna have mostly zombies or something like that no you could have blazes in the first area and it would completely wreck you um, that's not necessarily fun and this is not also going to be fun we could die um, we could very easily die so let's do this we're gonna drop off literally everything except for an ender pearl and two stacks of blocks all right, so we're gonna bridge across here. Um, so yeah, Lethemir was completely random. Um, everything from what mob spawners, the dungeons were somewhat generated randomly. You know, I should probably get torches as well. Or we could use the glowstone. Let's take half the glowstone. And like, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Uh, so yeah, everything was randomly generated, um, with the exception of like some of the, some of the dungeon was partially generated, um, but not like fully handmade. Um, there is some evidence of that in this map as well. Um, in fact, Lush Ruins are primarily a block swapped, uh, oh, what's it called, um, uh, mineshaft. So, that's not necessarily a bad thing, it just kinda, it makes it easier for him to make bigger areas. Which is cool, um, but it's also kind of, uh, kind of not the best either just because um, full randomness is not uh, great for like uh, we're gonna make this a three wide bridge before we continue on um, full randomness is not great for scaling or it's not the best random uh, god what am I trying to say uh, randomness is not the best level design uh, it can be interesting certainly but uh, it doesn't make for the best level design. And that, that's just because randomness doesn't do that. Uh, so that being said, uh, that was not the most fun in my eyes. Lethemir is one of my least favorite maps. Uh, and 
yet uh, one of the biggest ideas that came from that, the, the randomness of loot and spawners, uh, I don't think Vex ever did randomness with spawners again. Uh, that was the failed experiment part. But uh, he definitely did randomness with loot. Uh, so most of... You can kind of see something over there. Uh, that might be another area. There is a weird area, but I'm not sure. Um, loot is something that is... Uh, most loot chests are actually pure randomness. Uh, there's no... Uh, Vex doesn't go set them, uh, set them up or anything. They're just loot tables. Uh, some things are more rare than others. Um, and it, it's standard across all the versions of the map. But at the same time... Um, it's still random, so kind of cool. Uh, that being said, let's see, would use that. Grab one of those blocks, bow, axe, a bowl, that, and that one, and then everything else we'll just pick up. And put in here. All right. So um, yeah, the loot chests are random, uh, and that was something that kind of came out of all this. Uh, sandstone. We don't need that. Uh, we can put the sandstone away. Actually, let's take the the half a stack of it. Uh, so that is something that's kind of cool, but uh, the other the other kind of failed map uh, experiment was Black Desert. So Black Desert was an old map, uh, and specifically Black Desert Two. I should should clarify. Um, Black Desert was an old map, and it was uh, a pretty good map actually. It just didn't really. It was an old map, so it didn't didn't really mesh well with the current versions. Uh, I think it broke as well. Um, but that being said, uh, Vex remade the map and made it a little bit differently. Um, we're gonna dig down. Um, where are we gonna end up? So there is a couple of things. There is some golden pickaxes. We're going to use these. So we're going to just, I guess, dig down like so. Um, and we are above one of the uh, other skylights. So. Um, but yeah, so a lot of a lot of the super hostile, um, the the black desert uh, was liked. It was a good map. It was a like very dark desert type area. Um, not bad at all. Uh, but the remake, Vex tried to do something different. Uh, there were no resources in the game. Uh, if you wanted resources, you had to kill mobs for it. Uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, um, but it just kind of was grindy and not very fun. It turned out to be kind of a failure in that sense. Um, but that being said, it was an interesting idea that just didn't work. Uh, and that idea is used in this map as well. Um, there are three or four different mobs that we will need to kill to get their drops, to get access, like to finish the map basically. Um, I think let's go ahead and drop down here and make a staircase of course there's a zombie there um, let's light this up a little bit better because I never did because uh, we never came up this way all that often uh, so we do have some shortcuts but anyways like I was saying uh, there are a couple uh, they're known as fleecy mobs uh, boss mobs type of thing. Uh, there's a few of those in this map. Uh, and one of them is, I believe, in the Mellow Cavern. So, uh, that's that. 
Um, so yeah, the, it's kind of cool thinking uh, how you know map progression and uh, in all senses of it, uh, more vex progression uh, throughout the the different. Um, let's do this. Uh, throughout the different maps and progressions of what uh, Vex actually makes and whatnot, uh, it's kind of cool. So now we have a halfway decent way to get back to our other base. Uh, and in fact, I'm probably going to go back there, bring some stuff over, uh, and later on we'll bring more stuff over. Um, that won't be too much of an issue, but... Um, I never saw that chest before. Let's go look at that. Because uh, I think I, I've said pretty much everything I want to say about the whole... Um, the failed experiments that Vex had that were kind of cool. Um, they were definitely interesting ideas. Uh, I don't believe you can really find the Black Desert 2. Um, so I don't know that we'll ever play it. Uh, I might have it uh, from a download uh, long, long ago. But... I don't know if I do off the top of my head. So it's definitely one that was, there was problems with it because Minecraft combat is not the most interesting at times. Um, hello, Mr. Zombie. Uh, too much lava, we're starting to get sound bugs. See, that's the kind of stuff that you have to worry about. Um, And I'm trying to, there's a button command to reset that, but I don't know if it worked. Z-Stone and Amlep both would have died to this. I was just messing with the player. No payload. Oh. Oh man, I know what that is. That's a joke. Um, and I don't think we'll get to hear it because uh, our sound engine broke. So... Hmm. We'll take a look at that next time, uh, if I remember. Uh, let me try to... 3S. I, I swear that's what it is. Alright, well... Is the sound engine working a little bit better? It seems to be. Okay, well, let's do it. So what this is... It's a trap chest. And there is... Explosion. Um, probably didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. But there, there's an explosion. Um, there's TNT going off. And it was just a... Just something to mess with you. Um, wasn't going to actually do anything. But still kind of cool. Anyways, um, that is going to be it for today's episode. I am going to go transfer things over and all that fun stuff. And we'll go from there. Um, yeah, so uh, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!